Well, I think most people probably think if you just lower the temperature, you can get an ice age. Well, it doesn't work that way because you got to get the water vapor from somewhere in order to produce the snow. So somewhere you have to have warm temperatures and you have to have cold temperatures. Hmm. And we believe that's what happened during the ice age, that at, at, in the past that the oceans were much warmer and the continents were much colder so that when water vapor that was evaporated out of the ocean was drifted over the cold continents, it then fell out as snow and ice. As an atmospheric scientist, what do you see in the past that would have caused those unique conditions? From my perspective, the Bible really gives us a clue as to what happened that caused the Ice Age. The Genesis flood was a magnificent, catastrophic, high energy event, mm. and it left the oceans warm. And it took about a thousand years for the ocean to cool back down to the temperature that we have today mm. where it's uniform. But during that period of time, particularly right after the Genesis flood, when the oceans were the warmest, it produced a tremendous amount of heat and evaporated water into the atmosphere, which then fell as the snow and the ice on the continents forming the Ice Age. So the Genesis flood was actually the cause of the Ice Age. Hmm. Larry, that sounds like we have some very, very unique conditions then. Yes, they were. For example, we know that uh, there were a lot of activity in the ocean. The plates that we are aware of on the surface of the Earth today between those plates, there were cracks where magma came up, mm. hot magma from the mantle, spewed out on the bottom of the oceans and formed a gigantic mountain chain. And that 40,000 mile long mm. mountain chain of hot magma, as it cooled, warmed up the ocean. And we have that information from estimates of sea surface temperature from seafloor sediment data. Mm. And the conventional community believes that as well. It's just they have a different age for it, 65 to 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous period when it was that warm. And that would have produced a tremendous amount of evaporation, which then drifted over the cold continents. Now, the continents, we believe, were cold because of volcanic dust and material being lofted into the atmosphere, into the stratosphere, a high atmosphere which blocked off the solar radiation coming in and warming the continents. And it kept it cold so that you had the warm oceans, the cold continents, therefore you had lots of water vapor evaporating mm -hmm. and being converted into snow and ice to form the ice sheets and glaciers on the continents. So all that warm water and, and the cold continents over a long period of time then produced those very, very huge ice sheets you were talking about. In fact, some of the modeling work I've done using conventional models, but with a very warm ocean, produced precipitation rates that would have produced ice sheets and glaciers five, 6,000 feet thick in a matter of 500 years or less. So wow. it's just ama amazing what a warm ocean and cold continents will do in a very short period of time.